Hello everyone, welcome to today's challenge. Today we have a very nice exponential problem on the board. The question is 7 to the power of x equal to minus 1. What there will be the possible value of x? When I first saw this question, I asked myself, can we reset it to any number to give us minus 1? Okay, so let's check in our assumption. And uh, if you look at this question carefully, you discover that we don't have a real solution from this, okay? We cannot get a real solution from this exponential problem. So how do we solve for the value of x? But if you're new here, kindly subscribe, okay? So now, let's take our solution. So we have our solution, solution. Let's put down the first of the 7 to the power of x equal to minus 1. The first thing to do here is very easy. It's just to align both sides of the equation. So if we align both sides, then we have this to be ln of 7 to the power of x equal to ln of minus 1. Okay, so you know that ln of minus 1 does not exist. So how do we solve this? If you remember Euler identity? Okay, so Euler identity says that your e to the power of your iota pi then plus your 1 is equal to your 0. So if I move this one to this side, I'm going to have your e to the power of iota times pi equal to minus 1. Okay, so from this Euler identity, we discover that minus 1 is equal to your e to the power of your iota pi. So we can replace this place here with what we have here. Easy. All right. So from here, our equation now implies that our ln of 7 to the power of x is we're going to have ln bracket your e to the power of iota pi close bracket. Easy. So let's continue. This side and see what this gives us in turn. So what do we do? Move this guy to this side according to the law. Law written. We say that if you have your log, um, let's say uh, p to the power of k, this is equal to, if you move this back, this will give us your k log your p. Okay? So if we succumb to this rule here, we can apply this to this. So this will give us x ln of 7 is equal to the ln of bracket of e to the power of alpha pi plus bracket. Okay. Now, so, what do we do? If you take a good look at this, divide both sides by 7, straightforward. So if we divide by ln of 7 rather, so we we'll also divide this by ln of 7. So this go with this. Alright, so we're now having our x is equal to the ln of bracket your e to the power of pi, sorry, arita pi all over, sorry, all over your ln of 7. But is this the final answer? No. Now, at this point, if you look at this, for the even values of x, we're going to multiply this by 2k. Okay, so we multiply the exponent by 2k for the evil value of x. So we're going to have our x ev. This is going to give us ln bracket re to the power of your iota bracket 2k or into our pi close bracket all over ln of 7. This is for the evil value of our x. Now we're looking for the all value, but it is the all value that will satisfy this expression here. Okay, so for the all values of our x, we have to multiply the exponent, which is this exponent, by 2k plus 1. 2k plus 1. Okay, like I said, here k is your series of constants written from 0, 1, 2, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so we're going to look for our x on values of x going to give us here x bracket the e to the power of i bracket your 2k 
plus 1 close bracket into r pi or you bracket all about your ln of 7 alright ok this ln of 7 is it? so now if you look at it ln will cancel this e ok so if ln cancel this e what will not be our final answer? So let's put our final answer here. Yeah. So from here, we're going to have our x is equal to our iota bracket 2k plus 1 all into pi all over the ln of 7. So this is the value of our x. Okay, this is the value of x that will satisfy this exponential equation. Alright, so this might be the end to this simple exponential challenge. If you learned something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. Remember, Jake loves you and every one of us at All Agnost TV loves you. Bye for now.